Curt J. Lusker PPG-75 filament evaporator is used to coat samples with various types of metal. Unlike sputtered films, evaporators only coat the surface facing away from the substrate. Evaporators provide very little coating to the side of any features that are perpendicular to the surface of the substrate. The PVD-75 is ordinarily used to evaporate gold, chromium, aluminum, and copper coatings. It can be used to evaporate most other metals as well. In a typical process, the chamber is pumped down to a pressure of 5 times 10 to the negative 7 torr in order to prevent air molecules from interrupting metal atoms as they travel from the evaporation source to the substrate. With the use of low voltage, high current resistance heating, the PVD-75 uses a tungsten filament to heat the metal evaporation source to a very high temperature. This causes the metal to evaporate and be deposited onto the substrate. Typical deposition rates range from 2 to 5 angstroms per second. In most cases, metal depositions are performed in the CVC electron beam evaporator or in the CVC DC sputter. The PVD-75 is a good choice for samples that need to be evaporator coated so that the sides of rough topologies are not coated or for samples that are sensitive to X-ray radiation that may be emitted by the electron beam gun and the E-beam evaporator. PVD-75 uses a turbo pump for a reduced pump down time. It is also equipped with a front panel touchscreen which contains the pump down, vent, and shutter controls. It also displays the chamber pressure. The front panel touchscreen is located directly above the chamber viewing window. The deposition monitor and control screen is where the processes and films are selected, edited, and displayed. It shows the processes selected, types of films being used, and displays different graphs during deposition. These graphs include power versus time, deposition rate versus time, and the rate of change of the deposition rate versus time. There is also a source selection control. This dial selects which pair of electrodes will receive power during processing. Let's now introduce our lab users. Before you are able to use the PVD-75, you must first log into the system at the access controller. Once you are logged in, you should begin preparing your sample for processing. While you are preparing your sample, you should begin venting the system. Press the vent button on the front panel touchscreen. This will initiate the chamber vent sequence. When the touchscreen displays vent complete, you will know that the chamber has reached atmospheric pressure and the door should be able to open. At this point, you should remove the sample holder plate. This should be done by lifting the plate in slightly and sliding it out over the alignment pins. You may have to rotate the plate in using the substrate rotation control in order to remove it. You should now mount your sample securely to the plate in using spring clips. Remember that your sample will be mounted upside down while it is in the evaporator. Place the platen in the chamber, sample side down. Make sure the top plate of the platen slides over and then down onto the two alignment pins on the shaft. Once you place the platen back into the position in the evaporator, you should then vacuum around the seal of the chamber door using the soft tip vacuum connection. use a vacuum without a soft tip connection. The chamber seal could be scratched and could result in the door not sealing correctly. You should now be prepared to load the system. To begin loading the system, you must first open the shutter by entering the depth menu on the front panel touchscreen and then pressing the shutter 1 button. You will know that the shutter is open when the button is green and closed when the button is red. The PVD-75 is capable of evaporating multiple metal types per processor. For each metal to be evaporated, mount a tungsten bow between a pair of electrodes at the base of the chamber. 
Once they are in position, place one or two pellets in each of the boats. You should note which electro pair corresponds to each metal. You should now close the shutter by pressing the shutter 1 button at the depth menu on the front panel touchscreen. Before you begin to pump the system down, you should place a new, clean mylar film in the holder over the viewing window on the inside of the chamber door. The mylar films are located on the front of the system. Do not run a process on the PVD without using a mylar film. The mylar film protects the viewing window from being coated with evaporated metal. The viewing window will be unusable if it happens to be coated. When you are ready to pump the system down, close the chamber door and press pump down on the front panel touchscreen. The chamber pressure will be indicated in TOR on the left side of the screen. To set up your deposition, use the chart posted on the control panel for a reference when choosing the metal you are depositing. This chart will show you which process and film to select for proper deposition. Select the process you would like to run by pressing the process menu button on the deposition monitor. The process will vary based on the type of film being used for deposition. You should verify that the proper film is set in the process menu. If you wish to edit any aspect of your process, you can do so through the process menu button. After selecting the appropriate recipe, you'll be able to press the Edit button until you get to Process Parameters. This screen will allow you to set the deposition rate and the final desired film thickness for your deposition. The control screen for the deposition monitor is not a touch screen. Do not press it as if it were one. The screen could be damaged over time. To begin performing evaporation, set the source selector to the electrode pair that the tungsten boat is connected to. The numbers 1, 2, and 3 indicate the electrode pairs from left to right. If you wish to use the substrate rotation feature, set the desired rotation speed on the substrate rotation speed control dial and then turn the rotation power switch to on. When the chamber has reached the desired pressure, turn the output power switch to on. When you're ready to begin deposition, press the start button on the deposition controller. This will initiate the deposition process and handle each aspect of the process from ramping up source power to opening and closing the shutter automatically. You should monitor the entire deposition process to ensure proper execution. If any problems should arise during the deposition process, you should contact an MIRC staff member. The deposition process on the PVD system is fully automated and will end once the desired thickness is reached. Once the first metal has been evaporated and you are planning to evaporate more than one type of metal, set the deposition monitor to the next metal type and select the appropriate electro pair on the source selector. If you have completed your process run, turn the filament power switch to off. In order to remove your sample, you must first vent the system. Before you begin venting the system, you should wait 15 minutes after shutting the filament off. To begin venting the system, press the vent button on the front panel touchscreen. Once the touchscreen display is vent complete, you may open the chamber door and retrieve your sample. In order to retrieve your sample, you must first remove the plate in from the chamber. Unscrew the spring clips and remove your sample from the plate. Once you have done this, you should open the shutter by entering the depth menu and then pressing the shutter 1 button on the front panel touchscreen. At this point, you should remove the tungsten boat from the electrode pair. When removing the boat, you should note that the shielding between the electrodes and the boat itself may still be hot. Upon the completion of your run, you should clean the chamber with a soft tip vacuum so that the system will be ready for the next user. 
Once your sample has been removed, you should close the chamber door and begin pumping the chamber down. Press the pump down button on the front panel touchscreen to initiate the pump down sequence. Make sure that you don't leave the machine at atmospheric pressure. Once the PVD is pumped down completely, you may log out of the system at the access control. You should now have a pretty good understanding of how to properly use the PVD-75 filament evaporator. You should be able to vent the system, load your sample, pump the system down, set up the deposition, and perform the evaporation. If you have any questions, please direct them to an MIRC staff member. Please do not ask Charlie. Thank you.